Hello and welcome back to my channel, Mac at the Movies. My name's Jason and I am here to do an unboxing for you today. I got a box right here from Fright Rags. Uh, so uh, around Halloween, they uh, Shutter, the Shutter.com, uh, they did uh, uh, the Joe Bob Briggs Last Drive-In uh, Halloween special, Halloween Hoot Nanny, and uh, Fright Rags decided to drop a few new items on us during the event. So I broke and purchased them. So I'm going to break out my little bug here, tear into this box, and show you what I got because half of it I can't remember. Uh, let's see what's in the box. All right, I'm gonna pull it blindly and be just as surprised as you. Right. Keeping it protected. So first, it's a hat, I got a couple hats. First we have, and this is the one I was looking forward to the most, Amity Island, got a Jaws hat. So uh, I liked it. Picked it up. It just looks like your regular run-of-the-mill hat with, uh, you know, nothing special about it. Um, uh, I The only hats I had were, for a while anyway, were uh, baseball hats. Because um, I figured if you're going to wear a ball cap, what better sport to wear a ball cap for? Uh, but I'm not a big sports fan. Um, Baseball is one of the few sports I'll follow, and football gets, you know, Thanksgiving Day and Super Bowl if the halftime show is good enough. But uh, I uh, I always get questioned about some sports, insert name player here, and I, I know nothing about it. I just didn't feel like doing my hair that day and threw a cap on, so... Uh, now I have uh, some more caps. Uh, Twin Peaks got this one from from Fright Rags as well as uh, as well as another Monster Vision shirt with Joe Bob Briggs or Monster Vision hat. Um, so I got that one to add to the uh, mix as well as this one. Speaking of Joe Bob Briggs, got the last drive in the old dad hat. So I got that one to look forward to wearing. Whenever I go out and about and don't feel like uh, doing anything, which is a lot of the time now that we're pretty much doing our best to quarantine and going out very rarely. And I haven't gotten a haircut in three months, so let's get some of this paperwork out of the way. Ooh, they had a couple little goodies there I'll share with you. Let's, uh, let's pull out some of these shirts, shall we? Or I think it's just one shirt. But it is the last drive-in Halloween Hoot Nanny, the Joe Bob Briggs Halloween uh, shirt. So saw that, had to go with the other ones that I had. I have a Monster Vision and I have another last drive-in shirt. So, ooh, got a candy. I used to get Warheads all the time. Uh, I remember back in middle school when they first kind of really hit big and like uh, any time we had a free day, they'd have some little stand up and for a quarter you could buy a pack and uh, or 50 cents, something like that. And I, I would just ruin my mouth over the weekend. But uh, but yeah, I had a, a lot of fond memories of foreheads. Uh, not a big fan of sour stuff anymore, um, but you know, still appreciate it from time to time. So, here we have, I believe his name is Ernie, a uh, little enamel pin there, so I'll throw that, uh, got a backpack I have, I'll throw that on, really like it, little fella, for uh, a couple of times I saw him pop up on uh, the last drive-in, and I thought he was just a prop, and then he moved, so, and then, of course, the last drive-in enamel pin, I'll throw that on my backpack let people know what I'm about so and then lastly the unpunched Joe Bob Briggs figure with beer and pumpkin 
and uh, he's even got a little cloth jacket on uh, as for the uh, the Halloween Hoot Nanny show that they did. So it's a fun little figure just to throw up as uh, you know stuff in the collection and let people see when they come over and go, "What is that? Where can I get it?" And then I let them know it's sold out, and you can't. But if you had ordered one on Halloween or whenever they aired this, you could have. The camera's shaking. Billy's being a bit of a rascal right now. So the cat's uh, trying to jump over everything and hit in the stand. But anywho, along with that came the warhead, as I showed you. Um, a sticker for the film Candy Corn. Uh, this is a Dread Central release, I do believe. Uh, my brother has it and let me borrow it. I watched it. Um, it was interesting. Um, would I revisit it? Come some October. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, overall, uh, you know, sort of a, a similar concept to Pumpkinhead. Um, uh, somebody dies and there's a curse and revenge is had. And second, we have, uh, Screaming relaxes me so. Here we go. I can't remember her name to save my life. I know she was in... Um, was that Ed Wood uh, did uh, Plan 9 from Outer Space uh, and stuff like that. So, that, I mean, that's just a, a cool little card to have. You can put in the corner of a mirror or something like that and just display and uh, stay spooky year-round. So... Anywho, that is my haul from Fright Rags. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give this thing a thumbs up if you did. Uh, you know, just a run-of-the-mill like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me, have you gotten anything from Fright Rags? If you had, what'd you get? What do you like from them? Um, would you go back to them? I'd hope so if you're a horror fan. And uh, ring that little notification bell. Subscribe. Uh, let you know when I'm posting new videos along the way. Anywho, thank you for stopping by and have a great rest of your day.